my defense sets for four, so I've got like a, a whole chain of defenses now. I can try and lure enemies over here. And I don't stand a chance. See, there's a lot less micromanagement, but you still have to keep an eye to make sure your cities are working uh, tip top condition. And notice now I'm able to buy and sell because we've got to commerce too, and the commerce limit's gone up to 150, which is quite a reasonable amount. able to build uh, lumber mills and granaries. So that's what I'm going to do. There's a granary. Uh, there's a lumber mill. And you can do the same once you get enough food. But in the meantime, uh, build a granary. Build some more farms to take advantage of the fact that you've got a granary. When we get to science 3, we can build a smelter. I can hold 10 units. Uh, no, six. Uh, six. It, it can hold ten units, but only only four will increase its uh, firepower. The archers are very good for that, but they're very costly in terms of you know, golden wood. The kind of things you need early early in game. Opportunity, opportunity cost of gold is quite a lot, because quite a lot of things need it, like universities and scholars. Scholars are expensive, as uh, any vice-chancellor will know. <laughs> well, I suppose it depends on the university. Can, there's a the reason to build more cities is, it, first of all, it takes up more land, so more land means more taxation income, which means more gold. Second of all, you can only build one of most uh, most thing most buildings, most civilian buildings uh, in each city. So one university, one library, one granary, five farms. You're not limited to the number of uh, lumber camps, but there's only so many forests in one city site. You're not limited by military buildings either, apart from the fact that they do gradually get more expensive. So don't go mad. I'm going to uh, become a republic. Gives you certain uh, certain benefits. Uh, on the uh, autocratic side, the benefits are military. On the democratic side, the benefits are um, economic. Um, republic increases your uh, commerce rate by another 50, I think. And um, it gives you a senator general who heals your troops when they're in friendly territory. Which is very useful because most of this is going to be friendly territory. Hmm. If I build that there, I'll be able to get that mountain and also get the forest, hopefully. Otherwise I'd be very disappointed. Hmm, wood's still quite scarce. Oh you can get that oh, you can get that wood because it's camp. Yeah, oh, never mind then. 
I don't know who's on the way to build it anyway, but forget it. You find yourself another mountain. Like that one. That huge grip pig thing. Now that wouldn't be a bad place to set up a few defences as well. So one there. Uh, one there. And if I can afford any more, a couple more. I don't know if it's more efficient to just sort of... It's probably more efficient to just sit and wait for your resources, but sometimes you need that, those resources from the here and now. And the interface is designed to make it, make it really quite simple. quite nice for this game. I can just about hear it. Um, you can probably hear it a lot better because the, in the recording it's a lot louder. Um, we've already commented on the music once. I may have done that in the last recording where it was an abysmal failure but we're not telling anyone about that. Um, yeah, they, they tend to do the games really quite well, these people. And the uh, graphics look beautiful, the uh, the music's astounding. The concepts behind it, and the uh, it's got the right kind of pace that you want from a game. It, it gets faster and faster as you go through the ages. Everything gets faster. Attacking becomes easier, armies move quicker, and the like. It's got a good balance of building up an economy and doing a bit of fighting. Uh, it's just just a good game. Excellent, really. Well, you know, there's no area I'd say it was particularly weak. Apart from it's got no, the scenario editor is a bit of a no a no go, unless you like coding. And I'm not much co of a coder. People used to ex assume that because I was on computers a lot, I was some kind of computer whiz. And that's not the case. Um, I like using computers, but I. <laughs> I don't like using them for productive purposes. Oh, you've already got one. Build a market then. In fact, uh, build some farms. We also have got too much of knowledge. Too much knowledge. I know too much. Uh, speed things up a little bit, puts us back onto normal mode. What most people play at. I need another merchant. Because this is copper, which factory and doctor units receive plus 20% hit points. Oh. Yeah. How many miners will this give us? Oh. I suppose it's not that big of a mountain, it's just big by comparison to all the other ones I've got. Oh! My merchant was under attack by a roving band of nomads. I think. It may have just been a false alarm. I definitely got a warning signal in the minimap. And there's, you know, half a map with two armies roaming around causing trouble with 42 units in each. Can 
need to grab a couple more scouts. I don't know the lay of the land because my original scout got killed. And in fact, I also need to build a few more of these kind of unit buildings. Military buildings, one could call them. You need a name for them, and the name shall be military buildings. You get exploring. See those kind of read text there up there increase the efficiency of the boost that uh, granaries and lumber mills give you. And the, on the other side are like civilization wide ones that aren't related to actual, actual resources, resource gathering. Buildings constructed faster, building hit points increased by 10%, or at the granary. Um, bonuses that include uh, uh, troops being created faster, uh, heal faster when in uh, when garrisons, can see further. So they're quite good. They make they make uh, they make the later game have a different feel to to the early game. Put a tower near the rare resources. At least they'll put up a fight because merchants don't put up a fight, by their very nature. Quite peaceable. Naval combat is a bit of a flaw in this game. It's very boring, I find. The best thing to do is just spam out as many many ships as you can. There's no very little room for subtlety, or maybe I'm just not subtle enough with them. I'm cranking, building up resources again. I need to spend them, spend them, spend them. If you're not spending resources, it's an investment wasted. Well, you can go to the extreme and spend too much resources, just sort of wasting them. Which I think I did just then, but I'm not entirely sure. But you see, I shouldn't, I shouldn't be having, in a fairly peaceful, peaceful game, uh, 500 wood just sitting there doing nothing. That's a huge army. Which is larger than mine. Oh well, I've got defences. Oh, I can't research attrition text. I suppose that would be a bit gamey really, since I'm the only one that has has uh, borders. I'm trying to get some, yeah, some semblance of a uh, concerted military effort to hem these people in. Do it in like yeah. Uh, just just do it slowly, and uh, but meth methodically, give them less and less. Woo! See so all garrison in that tower. I'll use my armies to try and lure them to their strong point. Only fourteen food.
Uh, you probably, you, uh, you, you hold hang fire. Uh, you, you probably, you know, want to change your courses as well. Oh, well, you're not going to run off now, are you? Oh, you're going to destroy my merchants and just going to run off. Bowman, of course, being weak to uh, cavalry attack. Apart from when there's a large number of them. teach him. And you, you two build the fort and you build the town. You might be rather redundant. Actually, in all honesty, that might be rather redundant as well. Well, you've done your sort of uh, scouting around and found very little. Quite an irritating game type this is. Because they're all just sort of hiding from each other and hiding from me. One of the advantages of being nomadic means it's uh, quite easy to hide. Oh, lag. to have fixed it. Uh, clear a load of stuff off the... Wait. That's fixed it. Yeah, it's uh, amazing just how much uh, stuff gets... Uh, how much the, uh, these recordings clog up the hard drive. can lure them into that fort there but not before the um, reinforcements arrive. 